talk about your recruiting plan okay. and what you plan to do there because you can't can't yeah. win without that. Yeah. Well, there's no question. Uh, and again, you, you you need good players. Uh, I'm going to bring a lot of my staff, but I'm going to hire someone who has strong Louisiana ties uh, and, and New Orleans ties. I, I don't think that you can be in a, a major city and not recruit the city. Uh, if you look at my track record, when I was in Indianapolis, we had eight, seven, eight, nine, ten kids from Indianapolis. If you look at my team from Georgia, we've got about seven, eight, nine kids from the city of Atlanta. Uh, we are going to recruit this city. We are going to recruit the state of Louisiana. Uh, but make no mistake, I'm also going to recruit Georgia because Atlanta is a hotbed for us right now, and, and I'm a Midwestern guy, and so we'll, we'll, we'll go out, but predominantly we're going to really recruit the New Orleans area. Uh, and so uh, my first thing I want to get done is that uh, I, need, I want to hire someone that I trust uh, but knows this area. And I did the same thing in Atlanta when I got there because I didn't know the area very well. I did the same thing in Indianapolis when I got there, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And if you know someone that 6 eight can really play, then we need to talk. Okay. Where's my compliance guy? That was okay, right? Oh, okay, all right. Coach, as I was about to ask you, uh, this team won four games last year. You're talking NCAA tournament. Is the, the squad you have right now, is that the team you're going to be going with? Are you getting more players you're going to add on to this team to improve from the, the low amount of wins they had this okay. season? They only won four? Come on, Amy, let's get out of here. No, <laughs> no that's, I, I, I'm joking about that because I don't care. That, that, that had nothing to do with these guys and me right now. We're on a whole new mission. Uh, again, four of that, that it's, that's, as I told them yesterday, I, I, I actually feel sorry for, I, I don't know, I don't know how that can happen. Uh, I'll be honest with you, but, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I guarantee you this, we, we, it'll be more than four next year. So I've already said this, if we win one conference game, I'm getting a contract extension. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just about to <laughs> no, but, but again, that's, I, I don't want these guys to think about anything that happened in the past. Today is a new day. You know, I, I, I said something to Troy. I want to change the benches. We don't want to sit on the same side. I want to go to the other side. Whatever jerseys they wore, we're going to wear something different. They got different socks. We're going to wear something different. This is the last time they're going to be in those gray things. Everything's going to be different. There's a new day here at Tulane, okay? We're going to make some changes, all right? So, the, we, you know, we're going to – individually, these guys are going to come in here, and um, I'm going to talk to some of them. First thing I'm going to do is that uh, they didn't know I'm a licensed barber. Some of the guys, I'm going to get, we're going to get a little haircut trim. <laughs> Not that I'm talking about anyone, but uh, we're going to do something with some people's hair. Right? Yeah, okay. It's funny because – some players, you know, we got, we got some kids that are, that, that are from other parts of the world. And it's amazing when they want to play, they speak English. And then when they, get, when, I, when, they don't want, when they don't want to talk to me, they speak another language. He did that to me yesterday. He walked in and said, hey, Coach Hunter, how you doing? I said, great, let's work out. Then he started saying, da, 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 da. and I went, no, oh, no, no, we're not doing that. So, we, you know, we're going we to be, this is like this, okay? Clippers, Clippers, me and you. All right. I'm sorry. That was on something different. That wasn't even your question. Next question. Is that it? Coach, what has been the, um, the, the constant in both of the turnarounds for you as a coach? And what do you think, other, other than recruiting, that, that is kind of the common thread on both of those things that happened? Well, really, if you look at the three schools that I've been to as, as a head coach, IEPY, Georgia State, and now Tulane, all in major cities. I think that's, that's, that, that, that's a big part of it. Uh, secondly, they were all programs that had long losing seasons in regards to when, when, when you have a culture change, and that's what we have to have. We've got to have a culture change. Uh, again, the, the, it, it doesn't take a lot. You know, I, I know the guys in football tell you it's a little different in football because you need more guys to be able to do it. In basketball, it, it doesn't take much. We have enough talent here to win. We got to change the mindset a little bit, okay? It felt just the same way when, when we took over at, uh, at Georgia State. The 10 straight losing seasons in our first season, I had eight seniors. We won 22 games in our first year. And I didn't recruit any. This was just a team that I've had. And so it just becomes a mindset. So we're going to take that, say he talked about the map. We're going to take the exact same formula that we took at IEPY, that we took at, at uh, Georgia State, and we're going to apply it here. And I don't think it's going to work. I know it's going to work. At Georgia State, you were at a conference where you knew no matter how good you were, 
if you didn't win your conference tournament, you weren't going to the NCAAs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much of an incentive was it to know that that's not the case anymore? That, that's, that's, that, was, that was also a big part of it. Um, and that's extremely stressful as a coach. Uh, you know, there were times that uh, we finished 17 and one uh, in the conference and had 26 wins and uh, lost in the championship game my son's sophomore year. And we lost in the Sun Belt and didn't get to the NCAA law and went to the NIT. Probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with, winning 26 games and not going to the NCAA tournament, knowing we and, and beat six teams that were in the tournament. So that was very different. Th those type of days, even this year, it was probably the most stressful year. I've had the best team in the league. We were, when we, when we were, we were in first place most of the league. We won the regular season. I was always concerned one bad half in a tournament, and now you're playing in NIT or you're playing in the – CBS or CBI, we don't, uh, we don't play in those. We're either playing in the or NCAA tournament. I don't play CBI, I don't play that. We don't mess with that stuff. That's not who we are. We're in the NCAA tournament or we're the NI, or NIT. So, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that when we did that, but no, I don't, I, I just believe we, our program, there's a standard we've got to get to. And uh, again, I, I just, you know, you should have had five teams in, 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 the, in the deal. So, guys, I, I, and my mindset has never been this way. You mean if I finish fourth place, I can go to the NCAA tournament? Man, that excites me so bad. But I don't think – I would still be mad at fourth place. I'll be honest with you. I don't believe in anything but winning and winning championships. That's what I want to bring here, winning and winning championships. You know, so, again, that's the mentality that I've got to make sure these, that these guys understand. Well, Coach, in your first big win here, will you uh, temper your celebrations so you do not get injured? No. <laughs> I don't, I've got now a bad Achilles. I've got an uh, artificial hip. Uh, I just talked to our team doctors yesterday. I need them to look at both of my knees. Uh, but I will give them all my body parts to get this team to the NCAA tournament. They can have them all. Well, not all of them, most of them. <laughs> not all of them, but most of my body parts they can have for the NCAA tournament. <laughs> um, apologize if this question is premature. I wasn't sure if you had a chance to reflect on the attributes of either Tulane or New Orleans that you will highlight when you are trying to recruit players to an institution that doesn't have a big winning history uh, in this sport and also is known to be academically rigorous. Yeah, yeah I'll be, I, I think Tulane sells itself. I, I don't think that I, I'll have to spend too much time because this institution is, is, is well known not only nationally but around the world. So that part of it will be easy for me. The next part of when it comes to recruiting, to get into a door and to really finish it, it comes on me. Okay, I've got, listen, as I said before, if I can sell IEPY, if I got out of this business there, I, one thing I know I can do, I can recruit. And so that won't be a problem. Well, I'm going to be able to get players here. That, that's not going to be a problem for me. I think this is a great institution. I think this is, you know, people talk about this facility. Um, did I win here this year? I think we played here. Did, oh, yeah, we, we, we did. So my next game here, I plan on winning again. And I told the guys the whole scouting report before, but again, you know what's crazy about you guys talking about your facility? This is the best facility I've ever had. I got a terrible facility at IEPY. I play on the third or fourth floor at, IEP, at, at Georgia State. So for me, this is the best facility I've ever had. I think this is wonderful. I walked in here, I'm gonna have a tear in my eye. And then I heard somebody say, what about your facilities? I'm like, yeah, it's great. They said, no, it's not. I think this place is great. So again, you know, it's all about your mindset. I can't wait to come in here. I, and again, we, we got this thing packed and filling. We're pressing and running up, shooting threes. That's what we're gonna get it to. And that's what we're gonna recruit to. So there's no negativity in me and about if, if from my staff to my players, if you say we can't, you're out the door. I don't want to hear anything about what we can't do. Tulane's lost season. I don't care about that. I wasn't here before then. You had some great coaches before that. doesn't matter. doesn't matter to me. I, I have a vision. I know what that vision is going to be. I dreamed about that vision last night. I woke up this morning, and I know for a fact we're going to get it there. So I'm not going to let negativity get to any part of my players or me. On that note, I'm hungry. You got somebody? Can y'all feed me? Come on, come on, can you feed me? I'm, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs>